Well, good morning, everyone. This is Chris Wells speaking from DS Graphics, and this is our last webinar for this year. So it's a sad day, but it's a happy day because it's a good one. Um, <clears throat> this completes our series of six webinars, and if you've missed any, there's a list of them, and they're all available on our uh, webinar channel, which I'll give you some information about shortly. Today's webinar is about informed delivery. Before we get started, if there's anyone who hasn't been on one of our webinars before, I've got a couple of housekeeping items. Everyone comes in on mute mode, and that is so that we can control some background noise. However, you'll notice on your control panel when you joined, there's a little orange arrow, and below that orange arrow, two icons down, is a hand. So you can raise your hand if you have a burning question that you need to ask. Uh, if you just want to ask a general question, you'll also see if you expand that control panel that there's a questions section and you can write your question there. And I will leave a few minutes at the end to answer any questions that people have. Also right above that, you'll see there are two handouts. One is a cheat sheet, which is going to kind of summarize how you take advantage of this particular program. And the second one are the details of, that we're going to go over in the webinar, including links to videos. As some of you may have noticed when we share uh, YouTube videos, they do, not, um, they do not come through on the video recording because of copyright notices. So I've given you the link to the, uh, to the, to the video in that handout. <clears throat> so uh, I'll give you a few minutes also at the end of this to download those handouts. Um, and I'll also send them to you if you don't have an opportunity to do so. So, again, today we're talking about informed delivery. Informed delivery is a very cool technology that the post office uh, launched a couple of years ago. They've really only made a push in the last, I'd say, 9 to 12 months on getting it out there. It's specifically wonderful for uh, business to consumer. So right now, informed delivery does not work with business addresses, but if you are doing marketing to consumers, it works very, very well. So let me get into it, and we'll, we'll talk a little bit about it. I'll show you some examples of it, and I'll show you a quick video that the USPS has been using to promote the service. So you can see here a picture on the, in, the, uh, in the sphere that shows you what informed delivery looks like on a phone. So it's a, basically a service that the post office provides to consumers where they get an email every day that shows them everything that's in their mailbox. I'm going to talk about how we can take advantage of that uh, to increase our response to direct mail advertising. So here are the key elements. Free service, again, it's available to the majority of residents in the U.S. If you haven't signed up for it, I encourage you to do so. You just go to the USPS site and uh, you'll see a link for informed delivery. I'll tell you how to si sign up. What happens is every day around 7, 7.30 in the morning, you'll get an email from the post office and it contains scanned black and white images of the front of all the mail pieces that are going to arrive in your mailbox that day. So if you're doing direct mail business to consumer right now, and one of the people that you're mailing to has informed delivery, they're already getting scans of your pieces on a daily basis from this email. However, there's an opportunity to make these much more powerful by replacing that scan of the black and white image with a full color image that can either be a representative image of what the piece looks like, or it can be something completely different. So it can it can be it look like more of an advertisement. It can look um, you know some something completely different than the uh, than the actual postcard or letter that's coming in the mail. The other thing you can do is below that now new color image, you can add a link to a call to action, a website, a landing page, videos, whatever. So you can actually get the person who receives this email to interact with the mail piece prior to them even getting it in their mail. The other thing that consumers have found has been beneficial is it's a good way to see if you're missing any mail. You can actually report missing mail on the app itself. So there's an app that comes with this. Uh, and if you see something scanned through informed delivery and then it's not in your mailbox, you can report it as missing. It's great for making sure that nobody's stealing your mail. Uh, things like report cards from your kids maybe <laughs> that are, you see in the scan in the form delivery, but then they're not there in the mailbox when you get home. Um, also, if you get a bill you don't want to pay, you just put report missing and say you never got it. No, you can't do that anyways. But the, the other thing is that the dashboard also will show you uh, packages. So as you guys know, if you've used Amazon, Amazon's using the USPS much, much more. gives you much more detailed tracking than just tracking through the USPS. So all your packages will show up there as, as well. Right now, there are 15 million households that have registered for this service and there's 18 million registered users. So if you have three or four people living in your home, those three or four people can all sign up for it. Uh, and out of those 18 million registered users, 13 million of them are getting emails. 
This is up from uh, about 9 million getting emails just in April. So it's growing very, very, very quickly. So the elements of this particular program as it relates to the USPS campaign, if you register one of these campaigns that adds a ride-along image, I'm going to go through what that terminology means, and contains a link to additional content. So the ride-along image is, is not the replacement of the black and white image. It's the, um, it's the link that you use to access a website or some other digital content. That's the minimum requirement. You can certainly also add the representative image. That's the one that replaces of the scanned piece. If you do that during the time frame that the USPS is running this promotion, you'll also save 2% on postage. And this applies to just about everything, first class, um, marketing mail, and nonprofit. Some of the other neat things about this program is that we have the ability to do a pre-campaign analysis. So you can send us your list and we can run a pre-campaign analysis to show you how many users that are on that list are actually signed up for informed delivery. It, the USPS does not tell you specifically who that is because they want you to mail to everybody, um, but you can see kind of the saturation of that list. And we've seen anything from six, seven percent up to as much as 20 percent, depending on the geographic location and what how much of a push the USPS has made to uh, to getting informed delivery uh, out there. The other thing is we have ongoing tracking and reporting, so you can track the email open rates and the click-through rates. Now, the email open rates are important to note because the post office is averaging a 78% open rate, which is unheard of. It's well over twice the industry average. And part of the reason for that is because it is coming is an email that's coming from the USPS. So it's not an email coming from your company. It's not an email coming from a third-party email uh, provider. It's coming from the USPS. It's a trusted email. The people that sign up for this very regularly open these emails on a daily basis. And the other key thing is it's precisely timed to the delivery date of the direct mail piece. So if you've ever tried to time electronic communications with print mail communications. Uh, you're kind of always looking at in-home dates. Sometimes you're staggering mailing dates based on zip codes. You're doing national distribution drops. It's, it's somewhat difficult to be able to time how these things will, will kind of hit at the same time. This is guaranteed to hit at the same time because the day they get the scan is the day it's showing up in their mailbox. So they're going to get that email in the morning and they're going to get that piece in the afternoon, guaranteed. So it's, it's a great way to time out your marketing communications. And the best part about it is that there's no additional cost to run these programs. Uh, it's, it's incumbent upon the consumer to sign up for informed delivery, but once they are, uh, there's no additional cost to it. The particular program we're talking about today that the USPS is doing starts on September 1st, uh, so in a couple of weeks, if you can believe it, summer's over, and runs through November 30th. It's the shortest of the promotional periods of all six. Uh, however, we believe it's the most powerful. Registration's already open, and what that means is that you just need to register these campaigns with a certified mailer, whether it be DS Graphics or somebody else that you utilize. So here are some examples in terms of the terminology and things like that. This first picture on the left is no campaign. So if you're mailing now to consumers and they are signed up for informed delivery, they are getting a scan of your piece every day in their informed delivery email, Daily Digest. Um, what we found is that this particular mailer has figured out that this is happening, so they actually have some of the headline content on the address panel. Um, you can almost see the one below it. It looks more like an invitation where it would just be the address. Most people haven't done this yet. So if you're mailing postcards, uh, a lot of times the big content or the big offers on the front of the postcard and kind of the fine print and the address is on the back. So unfortunately, what the person's getting in their email is just the fine print and the address. And if it's a letter, all they're getting is the front of the letter. Um, so how do you use informed delivery? Well, the first thing you do is this ride along image, which is this little one down here, where in this example, uh, the, another one over shows you just using a ride along image, which is the minimum requirement for the program where you're getting the scanned piece, but then below that you have a little image and you have a click to a link to either learn more, take, take action, sign up now, whatever it happens to be. And then this brings you then to whatever URL we've, we've pre-populated in there. You can also utilize a representative image, which is replacing the scan with a different picture, basically. So you can see in this particular example on the left, they used an image of the postcard without the address block. So they kind of kept pretty much the same branding that they're going to get in the mail. On this one on the right, they used a completely different image, which is actually kind of neat. We recommend doing that because you can communicate it uh, a little bit better. 
So those are the different th things that you can do to enhance. And again, if you're mailing now, people are already getting the scanned image. So the USPS has been running uh, quite a few uh, television ads in certain markets. I'm going to try this. It actually didn't work on the last webinar, but uh, hopefully it'll work now because I did test it. Oh, it's going to work. I'm going to let this video play, which is a commercial of the... So if you didn't hear it, so I know that you have to unmute the speakers. I, got, I have the link in the handout, so you'll be able to, uh, to go to the YouTube video to see it there. I'm just psyched it played. <laughs> it's better than last time. All right. So here's some, here's some data from the post office about this service. 89% of people are satisfied or very satisfied with informed delivery. 93 would rep rep recommend it to family, friends, and colleagues. Any of you that know me, that have had any meetings with me, I recommend it to everybody. I just think it's awesome. Uh, people are typically utilizing uh, this service and accessing information on a mobile device. So if you do develop your link, you gotta make sure it's mobile friendly. There's still 40% using computer or laptop, only 8% on the tablet. And most of these people are opening these emails uh, first thing in the morning. So again, 78% open rate, phenomenal open rate, and it's happening in the morning. What value do the campaigns add? High open rate. So we said that um, many, many times, but it, it, it's piggybacking on a trusted email provider, which is the USPS. So they, people are gonna open it because it's coming from the post office and you're able to get your marketing message in and kind of ride the coattails of that trusted email. The other thing, as I said, it's multiple impressions from a single mail piece with no additional cost. So you're going to get a digital uh, uh, interaction as well as the print interaction on the same day without doing anything differently. Uh, and that drives consumer response. So you, should, you do see a higher response rate because of the multiple touches and the ability to respond to this uh, through a digital mechanism without having to go to websites and things like that. The other thing is you don't have to have your prospect or customer's email address <clears throat> because the post office is sending these emails. So if you don't have uh, the email, the preferred email address, which most of us don't because when people sign up for our newsletters and things like that, they're not usually going to give us their preferred email address. When they sign up for this, they give the email address that they look at every day because they want to see it. So we may never have the opportunity to capture that. You don't need to. Just by mailing this piece, the email is going to go to that preferred email that they've signed up through the USPS with. Obviously, we're going to get an uh, increase on ROI for the direct mail spend, and it gives you some good additional data insights to optimize your marketing spend. So you can look at different regions and see who are signed up for these things. The other thing that um, happened about, I think it was last holiday season, I don't know if any of you remember this, but the, um, the USPS was taking a lot of heat because a group of crooks decided that they, they figured out a way on how to sign up for somebody else's address for informed delivery. And what they did is they were able to get the email every day. The person who actually lived in the home had probably had no idea what informed delivery was, and they'd scan the mail. And when things like credit card applications came, they would go to the mailbox during the day after the mail came, they would steal it, and then go, you know, steal their identity or, or, or whatnot. They look for checks, all this other stuff. So it kind of swarmed through the media that this is a dangerous service and the USPS should shut it down because people are, are, are using it to steal folks' identity. And unbelievably, the post office responded in a very good manner. And their response was the best way to prevent 
theft of your mail is for you to sign up for informed delivery because then you will see everything that's supposed to be there and you will know if something's missing. If you don't have this, you don't know if something's missing. You don't know if there was something in the mailbox earlier in the day and then when you got home, it was gone. So it was actually a really powerful response. The other thing they did is they did increase the security of the program. So um, it used to be anybody could sign up for this online. You'd have to answer quite a few questions about your identity to be able to get it. Now there are certain addresses where you're actually not going to be able to do it online. You have to fill out some paperwork. If you haven't been at your, your, your address for a while, if you're in an apartment building and there's multiple people in there, um, all of these things, sometimes you require some, some paperwork that you have to mail back. But 90% um, of people can sign up for the service online. We've already done mobile shopping. <laughs> so that concludes the presentation on informed delivery. Again, this is our last one of the season. We are looking for ideas for 2020. When I end the webinar, you will get a little survey asking you just kind of how the value, what your, what your perceived value of these webinars uh, was over the past uh, nine months, as well as what ideas you might have for future webinars for us. So again, if you have not received the handouts, uh, please download those. The first one is a cheat sheet. So if you want to do an informed delivery campaign, it gives you all the information you need on how big the images have to be, what the URL has to look like, all that stuff. And the other one has got all the key information about the dates for this program, as well as a link to that video that I showed earlier. I will leave the webinar open for another four minutes or so, right until 920. If any questions come through, I'll answer those. I don't see any right now and you can have an opportunity to download the, uh, the, the handouts. Thank you all very much for attending, not just this, but all of our webinars. We really appreciate your support. We hope you have a wonderful short end of the summer and look forward to um, seeing you on future webinars next year. Thanks. <laughs>